friends welcome back to the pcr series now in the first lecture we have seen the components of pcr history of pcr technique so description of that i will be mentioned as a link in this video so the second important factor in pcr is primer concentration now, primer concentration of for forward primer as well as reverse primer it should be the same okay now what kind of grades of pcr primers we require that purely depends on the kind of application which we do for example for our regular standard pcr we can have desalted grade pcr primers if we want to go ahead with cloning we can go ahead with hplc grade or page grade pcr if we want uh, microbiology say ngs or beyond that then we can go ahead with hplc grade or Page grade. So it all depends on kinds of purity your PCR primer provides. So grade depends on that. And if you go on HPLC grade or page grade, the concentration in terms of purity will be more, as well as cost of the primer is also increases. Now, in general, what we get a concentration of PCR primer is 100 micromolar or 100 picomole per microliter. So what has been told in that particular sheet which we get when we give a PCR primer or we get a PCR primer, you will have to dilute it with the exact volume mentioned over there to get the concentration from this range to this. So for example, if your initial concentration of desalted PCR is 100 micromolar or 100 picomole per microliter, so when you dilute it with that exact volume mentioned over there, it is get diluted to a 10 micromolar concentration which is also called as 10 picomole per microliter concentration. Further we will see how to make a dilution for exact reaction. How to dilute PCR primers? First of all whenever you get a PCR primer, spin down the primers in a microtube before diluting it so that if any primer particle is attached to the cap of that dependent drop or a tube it will get settled down when you centrifuge it. After that you can dilute it using appropriate concentration of PE buffer or nucleus free water. Now if you want to use those primers for a long run say a year or more than that you can dilute it using PE buffer otherwise you can dilute it using nucleus free water. Always store your primers in a aliquots at minus 20 degrees Celsius or more than uh, yeah around minus 20 or minus 15 degrees Celsius. Now once you dilute your primer spin down that again then you can use it to make your PCR reaction. Now your working PCR concentration, primer concentration basically in a PCR reaction it ranges from 0.1 micromolar to 1.25 micromolar okay that is from your stock of 10 micromolar which you have prepared. So always remember that whenever you dilute a primer or mix it a primer in a PCR reaction use different tips avoid using same tips so that you will not cross contaminate any of the reagents so this was about primer concentration we have already uploaded a video in which you can learn how to design a primer by using computer for a gene of your interest please like share and subscribe for more such videos and please do let us know if you want to learn any particular topic in comments thank you